Hi guys, I just printed this after looking at one of Spencer Hunt's videos. I'll put a link in the video description. It's a ground effect uh, vehicle. It isn't the same as his, but it's sort of based on the general idea. And I put a hook on the front. I intend to try and catapult launch it. So the hook's on the top, so I'm going to have to... It, it goes along the ground, so you can't have it underneath. Um, at the same time, I've been experimenting with playing with the um, support layers underneath. So that's what this is under here. I've tried to reduce the amount of support my um, printer design creates. I don't think it's worked particularly well because that looks pretty rough underneath. But we'll have a look if we can get it apart. I'll probably cut through my fingers, so I'll, I'll do it off screen. I'll get the support layer off because that should just be a airfoil section sloping down like that. That traps a pocket of air underneath when you push it forwards, so it floats on a little cushion of air. A bit like a hovercraft, but different. A hovercraft creates a cushion of air with air blown down, whereas this creates the cushion of air by the forward motion. Going forwards, it pushes air underneath. I deliberately haven't put a tail on it, Quite often you see them with a, a uh, where it's facing down at the back, so it tips it forwards to keep the nose down as it's going forwards. If I find I need one, I can just glue a bit of card on the back there. And the front, I've left fairly large so I can add some weight, because I've no idea where the centre of gravity is going to be when I've removed the support layers. So I'll do that, and we'll see what happens. Oh, there'll be a link in the video description to Spencer's video. My efforts with trying to reduce the support layers didn't really work. I just simply haven't been able to get the support layers off the wings. You can see it's still pretty messy there. Uh, one of the problems is the wing itself is very thin. It's uh, less than a millimetre thick. So where I've been trying to get the support layer off, I've actually gone through the wing, <laughs> trying to get it off. So that was a fail. So I've left it as it is, so most of what you can see there shouldn't be there. That's when you print it, you can't print over fresh air, so the printer puts a support layer underneath and then prints on top of it. And the problem I'm getting is I can't separate that support layer from the finished article. Anyway, I've given it a flick with a rubber band. It was rising up much too quickly because you actually want it to skim along just above the ground like that on this cushion of air that we're talking about. And what happens was it just rose up far too quickly. So I've put some weight on the front. That helped. It still does rise up a bit. It might help if I put a tail on there. Uh, actually, it, it points upwards that way, which tips the front down. So I might just try a bit of card on there with suitable uh, direction on it. Well, that improved it enough to make it worth videoing. So you can probably see that's at a slope. So the idea is that lifts the back up and pushes the front down. And then we've got a bit of extra weight on there. So I'll see if we can film it now. Remember, the idea is it's supposed to skim along the ground, just above the ground on a cushion of air. It's not supposed to fly up. And it's not supposed to be actually scraping on the ground.
can see my hand's going to be in the way when I launch this. So we'll have a go this way round, but then I'll do some other video with it coming towards the camera instead. That rose up too high anyway. I'll try coming towards the camera. Right, summary time. Well, it's definitely not working quite right. Uh, it should, as I keep saying, skim along on a cushion of air. If I give it too much power, it lifts too much. And if I don't give it enough power, then it just skims along scraping on the floor. If you listen carefully to that video, you'll be able to hear there is a period of time when it's off the ground, but then it drops back down again and it's clearly just scraping and moving along on its momentum rather than floating. So I'm not going to call it a fail, but it's certainly not um, a success. Somewhere between the two. Needs more work. And definitely adding the tail with its incidents on it helped. If I was to put that on there again I'd put it at the front of the tail rather than at the back because if it's at the front I've got something to get hold of when I'm launching it. I actually made life difficult for myself because I couldn't get my fingers under there to hold it whereas if I'd have pushed that to the front I'd have still had a little bit to get hold of. So uh, yeah and as you can see I've been bending that to alter the amount of downforce it's giving because that lifts and pushes the front down that's the idea still that was interesting but not perfect thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.